G'day guys, this is Booze Review, the show of a boy, Review the Booze. So today we have a uh, interesting one that you certainly can't get here in Australia. We have the one and only Newcastle Brown Ale. You know it's the one and only because it says it right there. Now this bottle here is a 330ml clear glass bottle and it comes in at 4.7% ABV. Definitely a classic design there. This is about as English as it gets, despite uh, being brewed in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, well, the name says Newcastle. It was originally brewed there, first in 1927. In the mid-2000s, it moved to somewhere else. It's changed location a few times, but in 2017, it got changed to, uh, yeah, Amsterdam, Netherlands, owned by Heineken, I believe. So, yeah. I had this once before in 2017, when I was last in the UK. I thought it was alright, actually. I didn't mind it. Seeing as that I've drunk a fair few different beers since then, thought I'd order some and give it another try. So anyway guys, I think it's high time that I uh, crack it open and uh, give it a little review. Crack it open and pour it into this lager pint glass. Like that. There we go. Rightio. So yeah, obviously it doesn't quite fill the glass up as you can see, but got to work with what you got. So right off the bat there, definitely a nice sort of dark, rich, maybe mahogany, you know, caramel colour there. Maybe about a centimetre or a bright white head. Let's go for the aroma now, shall we? Definitely a sweet sort of caramelly toffee smell. Quite typical of uh, brown ales. So yeah, the one and only imported from England. So yeah, I've been wanting to get my hands on some of this for quite a while. And uh, I'm about to uh, give it a little taste. So anyway, let's shut up and give this a little taste, shall we? Cheers, cheers. Definitely got a, a caramel biscuity sort of taste right off the bat there. Some sweet malts. It's a very sweet, malty uh, sort of brown sugar, caramel sort of flavours that you're getting here. Yeah, very nice overall, wow. Not so much bitterness to speak of, maybe if it is there, it's just to retain the balance. But yeah, it's a fine example of a brown ale. And uh, apparently um, in the 70s and 80s, this was uh, considerably better than what it is nowadays. So, uh, seeing as that it's not even brewed in the UK anymore, it's brewed in Amsterdam. Yeah, kind of a shame really, but... um. Yeah, this was, uh, this was once amazing, apparently. And it is still really good, don't get me wrong. Anyway, let's go for another sip, shall we? Yeah. Quite smooth, easy drinking. Quite light for a brown ale. Yeah. I wonder if the um, ABV was once higher, too. It's 4.7%, which is... You know, full strength. But I wonder if it was a once 5% or something like that. Yeah. Definitely, you know, sweet, you know, biscuity malts here. Yeah, pretty easy overall. Easy drinking. Goes down rather well. Yeah. So this was uh, a favourite of my family. You know, who live sort of, you know, um, probably mid to upper UK. Um, around Yorkshire. So this is a favourite. Cheers, cheers. Grand and granddad. Chris, all my cousins, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, so anyway guys, I think it's high time that I give Newcastle Brown Ale a final sip and a final score, cheers, cheers. Definitely got some wonderful colour on there, I must say, yeah, nice colour for a brown ale, definitely very clear. Hmm, quite nice overall, I'm definitely enjoying it. Now I wasn't too sure, you know, how I would serve this, whether I'll put it in the fridge or, you know, have it sort of, you know, warm or, you know, room temperature as they sometimes have it over there. I have it cold and, um, yeah, it's still rather nice overall, it doesn't really change the flavour I feel. Overall, I'd probably have to give Newcastle Brown Ale probably a solid 8.5 out of 10. Very decent overall, you got some nice, sweet, uh, 
malts there, definitely some nice caramel toffee flavours. Pretty good for a brown ale, quite light actually. I remember the one that I had back in 2017 actually being a bit more skunkier than this one. This is actually quite crisp and refreshing and clean. <laughs> also, it's only a 330 more bottle. So yeah, I kind of wished I got a 500 more bottle, but oh well, is what it is. So yeah, eight and a half out of 10 for Newcastle Brown Ale. So anyway, guys, if you like that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, cheers.